just sit right back in the hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. Lamont at large, we're at the Mountain View Cemetery here in Reno, Nevada. This place, of course, my second favorite mausoleum of all time is on the grounds of this cemetery. And every time I come here, I love just exploring it. And today we are here. We're going to visit the grave of Dawn Wells. She played Mary Ann on Gilligan's Island, one of my favorite television shows of all time. I used to watch reruns of that show when I was a child. And probably my personal opinion, she's in the top 10 of most beautiful actresses possibly of all time. It's a debate that we could have in the comment section. Without further ado, we're gonna talk a little bit about her life, her career. I'm gonna show you her grave. It's in a nice location. And then from here, we're gonna drive hundreds of miles down south. Without further ado, let's go. Don Wells was born on October 18th, 1938, right here in Reno, Nevada. And of course, like I said earlier, she is best known as playing Mary Ann on Gilligan's Island. But before she was Mary Ann on Gilligan's Island, she was a regular high school student just like everybody else. Well, not everybody else because she was very pretty and some of the other students, mm, well, we're all cute in our own way, right? Right, so she got lots of attention as a kid growing up into a teenager and a young adult. So after she graduated Reno High School, she went to Stephens College in Columbia, Missouri and majored in chemistry? Yeah, chemistry. And after that, she transferred to UW, that's for uh, all of you outsiders, University of Washington. And after that, she graduated in 1960 with a degree in theater arts. In 1959, when she was, you know, younger, she started doing pageants, you know, because she's really, really beautiful. Uh, she was crowned Miss Nevada, and she competed in the 1960 Miss America pageant in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And she did not win. As a matter of fact, she didn't even come in the top 10. Now, I don't know how in the hell that's possible. Let me see, who the heck won first place? Linda Lee Mead. All right, we got some contestants right. Well, it, it looks like short, dark hair was a theme back in those days. So her debut in television after she would later move on to, you know, California to make her way as an actress was in a television show called The Roaring Twenties starring Rex Reason, Donald May, and Dorothy Provine. Rex Reason. Is that a real? That's not his real name. Is your name really Rex Reason? That was a made up name. Nobody's name is Rex Reason. That's too good. That's too much of a Hollywood name. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit of an investigation uh, on that. Anyways, so she worked on a bunch of different television shows and all of that. But of course, like I'm saying for the third time, in case you didn't hear it the first two times, uh, she's best known as Marianne from Gilligan's Island. And she did play through the 70s and 80s after Gilligan's Island. Uh, I think that's where she made most of her dent as an actress uh, in the 70s and 80s, uh, you know, in uh, musical plays or the theatric plays or what have you. And other than her being an actress, uh, she also operated a clothing company called Wishing Well for people that were, you know, on the bigger side, plumper side like me and people with mobility problems. And stuff like that. Here's a funny fact about Gilligan's Island. We're gonna get more into the TV show uh, as I make my way uh, over those mountains somewhere. So when you notice like pictures of of Don Wells, you'll always notice that uh, she never shows her navel in any of the pictures because that was a no-no back in those days. Like you didn't show your belly button. That was uh, deemed too uh, too risque. <laughs> That's too risque? Really? 
<laughs> I'd love to see what people think now of what's risque. <laughs> I'll save that for another video. But anyways, so other than that, uh, it's always been an age-old question. Well, Ginger or Marianne? Which one is it, kids? I've always been a Marianne guy. I've always been a Marianne guy. Uh, but Ginger, uh, very beautiful too. And, uh, you know, I love Gilligan's Island. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I got like a special story that I'm gonna share with you guys. So after I'm done here, we're gonna go down south. But um, Gilligan's Island, when it first came out, it was actually panned by the critics as like the worst television show ever. And it, it was so ridiculous that I think they all thought that the television show was only gonna be on for a season. Because I guess, I, I don't know why, but it, it actually caught on and it made uh, TV stars out of the entire uh, TV cast at Gilligan's Island. And here we are. We are at the grave of a woman that I watched many, many times as a child on television. And as an adult, sometimes when I, if I get a motel room, it'll be on. A beautiful stone right here. This is Don Wells. She's buried with her mother, Evelyn. That is fantastic. Someone left a phone. <laughs> what, didn't they make a phone out of a coconut or a radio? She died when she was 83. And even as an older woman, she was still very beautiful. And... Uh, Oh, they have the same birthday. Ah. Uh. God, that is. Uh. Man, I tell you, man, these graves, man, they really get to me sometimes when they have things like that on them. Uh. Mommy and baby together. That is awesome. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I'm doing this video because I love stuff like that. I absolutely do. I ain't going to get verklempt. Uh. I'll call you when I get there. <laughs> that must have been a saying. That must have been a saying that they had together. I was just staring at the picture of her and her mother. Look at that. I was lost in, the, in my gaze, in the gaze on that picture, excuse me. God, I love this stone. This is like now going to be officially one of my favorite stones. Take a nice picture of it. I'll try to. All right, rest in peace to both Evelyn and her daughter Dawn. One of the, one of just but many parts of my childhood watching, plunking my little chubby self right in front of that television watching Gilligan's Island, hoping, rooting for them to get off that stinking island. And they, I think, they, didn't they get off the island and didn't they, they got put back on or something funny? God, that show was hilarious. I don't know what those stupid critics, you know, you know what critics are to me? You know what critics are? They're nothing but, they're just failed. They're failed like at whatever they're criticizing. They're just failures. You got music critics, well, you were in a failed band. You failed uh, TV critics, you were a failed actor. That's all they are. They're just failed people. But we need them because, you know, I have my critics. Is there any failed YouTubers out there watching me? <laughs> ah, okay. Hey, rest in peace to the Wells. Rest in peace to the Wells. I am so glad. It's stories like this that I'm so glad that I, I do this channel because I even if I didn't have it uh, I, I, I still would love coming to cemeteries I couldn't come to them of course as much as I do because I would have to work but I still love doing what I do so okay guys we're gonna get into rental car okay we're gonna get into the rental car that I rented right you know I know I did pass the background check so <laughs> I used a fake ID we're gonna go to Los Angeles I I have a 
personal story that I wanted to share with you guys. It's I wouldn't say it's you know it's it's an interesting. It's part of my childhood. Small small part. And we're gonna go to Los Angeles, oh my God. the city of my birth, and I'm assuming conception. I wish I didn't say that. We're gonna go to Los Angeles. My love and hate relationship with that city, the people, the bums, the drugs, the gangs, the movie stars, all of it in Los Angeles. So without further ado do, let's go go to Los Angeles. Hollywood to be exact, West Hollywood. Come with me. And here we are, 467 miles away from Reno, Nevada. We are here in Los Angeles, California on this gray, drizzly day. So this is 7850 West Sunset Boulevard. And I, as a five-year-old child, I used to live in this building. I lived in this building in a one-room apartment with me, my mother, my brother, and my sister. And we would play right across the street at this parking lot. Me and my brother on our skateboards, and then my sister would be playing with her dolls. And uh, there was a cat that lived somewhere right here. I don't know this cat. I don't know what he's doing with himself today. You know, being a, being a cat about 35 years later, I don't know where this cat is. But uh, I think this cat's name was Sam. Uh, big sister, if you're out there listening, uh, if you can leave a comment below and correct me as to the name. Anyway, so we would play in this parking lot, right? And this is a very nice neighborhood. Now, this neighborhood has somewhat of a connection to uh, Gilligan's Island because there was a man who uh, me and my brother would go to his house and stop by and visit on occasion. Now, when I was a little child, I didn't know who this guy was. And uh, when we would stop at his house, uh, he would give us uh, Cokes. And I, all I remember about this man was that he was really tall, taller than my brother, which was amazing to me because I was five. And uh, he had white hair and his house had all kinds of pictures. And there was a big boat in the backyard, like the back of the house. And there was pictures of boats and all kinds of just anything to do with really sailboats is what I remember. But this guy had all kinds of, of just boat, pictures of boats, pictures of sailboats, anything with a boat in his house. And that man's name was Alan Hale. And of course, Alan Hale played the skipper on Gilligan's Island. Okay, guys, I found the house. It is probably not even a half a block, well, half a block away from where I used to live. Uh, this is the skipper's old house. <laughs> this is where I used to come and uh, with my brother and uh, we'd hang out for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or whatever. And I, I mean, I don't remember much uh, about it. I just remember he was really tall and he was, he had the gray hair. Um, just one of my childhood memories and uh, my mother my mother never told me that uh, he passed away a few years after we moved out of the neighborhood uh, I'm surely would have been sad to have heard that uh, but just a, a really really great uh, television show and just a small part of my childhood uh, of me growing up in this <laughs> city called Los Angeles well, that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it somewhat, a little bit or whatever. Live, but not live, still alive by the grace of God. I'm Lamont at large, standing on the corner of Sunset and Fairfax here 
in Zoo Angeles, California. I'm gonna go to this Rite Aid and go buy something to drink, but this time I won't be shoplifting. Well, maybe I will for old time's sakes. Have a good one. Peace out.